theater's fun. I should say that because I have an undergraduate degree in theater. It really does help with learning how to present. I used to be way more awkward uh, in confronting people. And I mean, in real life, I am still awkward in confronting people. But if I'm like doing a job or presenting my work, I can definitely present it much better. And hello, everybody. Welcome to the Tuesday night launch stream. And I was waiting to say hello to every other than Abigail saying Ian because that's how it goes. But hello. I cannot believe that Sam was actually here at some point. <laughs> and Rachel and uh, Monty and Ruth. I think I got everybody that I didn't already say hello to. I mean, I'm awkward a lot in general anyway as well, but I learned how to present better. It also helps when you're a stage manager. At some point, like halfway through the program, halfway through, I feel like it must have been before that. It's only I noticed then because I was having to deliver it since I became the stage manager. Because since I was stage manager, I had to fil facilitate the communications between the different uh, creative directors. And also, there was a point that we started it had to be. It had to be at every at the beginning of every show because even she stoops to conquer. We had a, a thing that somebody would address the audience, like the stage manager would come out and address the audience, and be like, "Hey, turn off your phones, blah blah blah, enjoy the show." But there was a skit for she stoops to conquer where two of the uh, actors would come on and be making noise, and somebody would pull their phone out, and then they would, "Oh yeah, that was it," because they would grab. Was his name Ryan? Because they would place one of the actors in the uh, audience. And so then the two actor, the two other actors would walk on stage doing a little thing back and forth. There was a Sam in that as well. And then the dude in the audience, his phone would go off. And these two guys would just rip this guy out of his seat and throw him into the bombs where there was a box of like glass and stuff. So then when he got thrown into the bombs, they would shake the box. So it sounded like he hit a bunch of stuff. And then they'd beat the crap out of him. And that was the warning to turn your phone off. <laughs> you do have to cut out a lot of awkward pauses. They picked one of the shorter guys in the in the cast too, because he was like a he was not smaller than me, but he was maybe only an inch or two taller than me. Glasses, a nerdy looking type, and then they had one guy who was part of that was looked like a thug, like a big guy with a big round face. And then Sam was uh, a skinnier guy with like curly shoulder length hair. He was an alcoholic, but you know, majority. <laughs> so many in theater were an alcoholic. Out were our alcohol, whatever. The first time I saw, there were some great people in that cast, in that, in my program. Danny Jones was really good. The first time I saw some of them, they were doing the Pillow Man. That was before I was in the program. And the Pillow Man that the they put on was so good. Okay. Let's see what we got here. We got some sub stories. We might go to something boring, see if we got some sub stories. I think you could do certain backstage things you know the super easiest backstage thing you could probably be on soundboard let's be on earth yeah the easiest part about soundboard or sound cues because then you just sit in front of the soundboard and you wait for the stage manager to give you the cue and then you just push the button you could do lights usually there are way more light cues than sound cues so that's why I said the sound cue. Uh, and I know that in my program, I don't know if it's done commonly everywhere, but I know that the light cues were numbers and the sound cues were letters so that you couldn't confuse them. And in case you were wondering, so the stage manager sits over there with their stage Bible that has all of the, the script in it and has all of the, the cue markings in it. And so then when it's coming up, uh, I had little tabbies on my script so that I would know ahead of time when a queue is coming up, like a page in advance. And so then I would be like, stand by, light queue one through four. 
And so then that's when you would be on your comm, because you sit in comm, even if we're in the same booth, you sit on comm the whole time so you can just whisper. And you go, light Q1 through 4, standing by. And then, you know, the line comes up, light Q1, go, 2, go, 3, go, 4, go. And you just push the button, because it's all pre-programmed in there in a row. Super easy. And then you kind of just hang out and watch the play until it's standby time again. And some shows there are lots of cues, and some cues, some shows there are not lots of cues. And you get through, you get like to the halfway mark of the queues because you know some plays have like 100 and some plays have like 12. But you get to the halfway mark and you're like, boys, we just got through the hard part. Every time we did Wonder of the World, as soon as we got past the, uh, the restaurant scene, we were like, the hard part is over. Because Wonder of the World was the one... I should, I should try to rip that from my computer, or onto my computer and post it, because I have the DVD recording of that. You just lose a little something when it's not in theater, or what, yeah, when it's not in theater. But that's the one where the chick leaves her husband to go to Niagara Falls, because she found out that her husband has a kink for eating a Barbie head and pooping it out. The Barbie's head is named Veronica. And, uh, in the... Oh, I have a puppet show, bro. I have a puppet show that I was in that was original. Yeah, I did mention it before. That's because I ba I very much remember the restaurant scene because Alyssa... Barnes. Yeah, Alyssa Barnes. She's a super talented actress. Uh, but she played... Technically, they were sex tuplets that all worked in Niagara Falls. And uh, during the restaurant scene, she had to be in three different themed restaurants at the same time. And they would just switch from one to another. So she'd run off into, like, Bomb A, come to the backstage. We'd have to change her clothes into the different themed costume. Then she'd run back out through the door, then come back in, change her clothes, have to get to Bomb B. And so that was, like, the Mad Rush scene. Because there were five or six costume changes in that scene. And I was the one that would prepare her clothing on the ground for her to step into, and then John would pull her clothing up because he was taller than me, so she'd just run in, step into the pile of clothing, hands up, he pulls her costume up, and then I pull the costume from the floor up her body. Kiryu-san! Kiryu-san! Hello, Kiryu-san! You remember me? Oh. Your, uh, hero Yan? You got it! Listen, I'm in a bit of a bind right now. He's gonna ask for more money, isn't he? The thing is, you know those stocks I sold you? I can't really say why, but I need them back ASAP. I can pay, of course. I'll even throw in an extra 200 grand on top of that. Oh, so, what do you say? Will you sell? That's a lot of money. I mean, I don't really care. I have 72 million yen. Just take, take back your stocks. I don't I don't want to play crypto with this guy, street guy. He's going to be like, I just made so much money. Thank you so much, Kiryu-san. It really means a lot. Well, I need to go. Bye. Well. It's 2006 street crypto. <laughs> Hey, you. Uh, I heard you sold Hero Yan his stocks back. Good move. Mm -hmm. Hey, mm, did something happen to him? Didn't you hear? His company's gone totally belly up. I had no idea what happened. Hero Yan was really moving his shares. But then, instead of investing the money, he splurged on personal stuff. Women and booze, I hear. Apparently, his VP walked out on him, too. Smart Eden is basically dead in the water. Typical crypto scam. Stupid choices have stupid consequences. It might have been because uh, his company was doing so well. I don't know. We'll have to run into him. 
Alright. Hey, hold up. You're that chump who was backing up Hero Yan, yeah? Mm -hmm. Sorry, do I know you? Oh, come on, man. Don't bullshit me. Hero Yan took my gal, then you came along and busted me up while I was trying to get some righteous payback. Right. I remember you now. Damn straight. Anyways, I'm feeling pretty good now. My girl came back and life's pretty smooth these days. Nice. Glad things have turned around for you. From the sound of it, Hero Yan finally shit the bed and ran his company into the ground. Word has it that he's declaring bankruptcy. He's gone bankrupt? Hell yeah! And when Hero Yan's found himself begging on the streets, my girl came running back. <laughs> Smart Eden stocks are worthless than worth less than paper. They're printed on. Feels good, man. <laughs> and it just goes to show. Money ain't got shit on true love. If that's not a triumph of romance, what is? <laughs> Bro. She just came back to you because there was no more money. So those stocks are worthless now. It's a good thing I sold them. Here you is rocking it. Okay, we got these two over here before we go to the funeral. Hero <laughs> Yan became homeless sub story, probably. You know what? There's. I'm right here. I need to go. Get out of the way. Out, out of the way. Out of the way. I have some things. This, this is what I wanted. Carry you over here checking his watch like he's got somewhere to be. He's like, uh, I do. I have a funeral. What kind of stuff do you have? Let me look at your... Leather jacket? Increases blade resistance. Paralyzes enemy. Bowling ball. Look, I can I can afford this. Traffic wand, one hundred pound bowling ball. Prevents burns. A badass jacket. I'm working on it. Technically, the third book is mostly done. I just have, like, minor edits. I'm gonna go through it again. This month. And double check some things, but it's more or less done. If you want it, I can send you an, a beta copy, but just know that it is a beta copy. It is, there are some significant differences from what Ruth read, though, because Ruth gave some good notices, you know, like, <laughs> Detective Stone disappearing. Also, funny thing was I was looking, I was talking to Monty about, like, the the way characters change over time, and in book, the first draft of Bodymore 2, Ralph and Casey, Ralph was more like Casey. He was, like, a calmed-down Casey, but he was more aggressive and slightly, slightly more aggressive. Um. <laughs> but then as it got to the end, Casey and Ralph sort of became more separate people, but then it's funny because Casey sort of became like Ralph in book 2, and had to take his turn to develop. It's true. Ruth is the perfect writing compadre. That's sweet. You know, you could read it and still buy it if you don't want to wait, but that's, that's fine. 
I'll buy weapons here, bro. Legend of the Drunken in action. He's selling movies. I don't think I can use those. If I take those movies to the video store. I'm glad that you like Waylon. He has not... <laughs> Nobody has talked about me. But I... am glad that you liked him and that he did not get character assassinated. He got to go out a hero. He's still in- he's still got a part in book three, don't worry. I mean... He gone, but... He's not gone. I don't want to spoil it too much by telling you exactly what I mean. <laughs> you were here two hours ago. Somehow I knew. I knew. <laughs> well, Abigail. I mean, you'll get way more KC in book two. Book three, sorry. <laughs> Ralph is only partially in book three. Book three is more Casey. And then book zero is about Casey and Ralph ten years ago when Ralph became a medium. <laughs> the ring. Yeah. That comes up. That comes up in chapter one. chapter by chapter outline before you continue your whip. How's it going? Are you figuring out what you need to figure out? Sam coming in here with a special Thank you. It's serviceable. To be fair, if Waddle... <laughs> you have to make it pretty far to get to Waddle. <laughs> and if Doc and Alex's chapter <laughs> doesn't piss you off, but Waddle does, I'll be surprised. Like, Waddle is way lesser of a crime than Doc versus Alex. And the person that complained about Waddle also complained about Doc versus Alex. So I was already done for. Maybe Marita knows something about this. Have a minute, Marita. Oh, here you sat. Do you need something? Yeah. I was wondering if you know anything about a group of fake loan sharks that have been scamming people lately. Heard all about them, yeah. People around town have started calling them the 580s, since they always ask for 580 grand. They pose as fake activist group to trick people into giving up their personal info and then... Thugs to collect the money. Send thugs to collect the money. Rumor has it that if you don't have enough, the thugs will trash your house and take whatever valuables you do have. That's pretty low. You know where they're based by any chance? Well, I was planning on selling that info to the highest bidder, but I guess I don't get mind giving it to you, Kiryu-san. It's true, Abigail. Scrapping a whole parts of your book is a writing tradition. It might just happen. I had to change entirely. Chapter... Two of Bodymore 2, and... There was a later scene in Bodymore 2 that I also had to completely rewrite because they were in the wrong locations.
Yeah. And there were ideas in Body More, too, that I also was like, well, this never came to fruition. Delete. <laughs> Delete. <laughs> like, a whole idea with a harvest moon. You just have to do it until it makes sense. Now, listen. You know the modeling studio across town? Those guys are up on the third floor of the building. They're decked out just like a real company, though, so be careful. But isn't it fun? Like, it's not fun when you're going through it, but isn't it fun to see how different it is? Good to know. Hey, Tachibana's place. What's up? Okay, old lady, what's up? It's always, like, it sucks to do it, but then it's always better once you get to the other side of the, the revision. Been waiting, Kazu-chan. Why is this city gotta be such a labyrinth? I went in, missed my reservation. That boy you yell never fall victim to my womanly wiles now. Yuya's actually a friend of mine. I can talk to him later if you're really that interested. Well, why didn't you say so earlier? <laughs> That's awfully naughty, withholding details like that from a poor old granny as long as I get to meet him, though. I'll let you meet this. Meet him on one condition. What is it? Answer my questions. Huh? I ain't single and ready to mingle if that's what's on your mind, Kazuchan. But maybe if Yuya's asking. Tell me who you are. What are you hiding? I ain't hiding anything, pinky promise. I don't trust the way she just looked over her shoulders when she said that. So be it. I guess you don't want to see Yuya after all. Hold on, you're gonna give Granny a heart attack. Then talk. Alright, I getcha. Don't got much of a choice now, huh? Sorry, but the answer is still no. Hmm. <laughs> because it seems like a good idea at the time. Well, if it ain't my halfway pupil, I know I know that difficulty though, because like even just the scenes where I ended up with like Casey and Stone and Joey together, bro, bro, that's like okay. So we've got these three doing their thing, but then you like bring in Karen and Val, and now we've got like a whole posse. I'm like, I can't do anything with five characters in this scene. What the heck? Well, if it ain't my half-wit pupil, Yen Long, what do you want? I ain't coming back. You don't need to. We'll snuff out your life and claim the Lotus School for ourselves. Come again? I said, we have no need for you anymore, old lady hag. Big talk coming from a little man. You're still just a sprout, Sonny. Tell me when you finally surpass Ka Long. Did she just say Ka Long? Only you think that way, you old hag. Ka Long is nothing compared to me. If that's your idea of funny, I ain't laughing. Yeah, it's really hard when you get a bunch of people in one room. Which also... Conundrum with Dead End Drive when you've got 12 people all sitting at one table and then people are like... Some of them don't talk, yes. When... Imagine, remember, think about it. When you're at a party at a table with like 12 people, is everybody always talking? No. I don't know about you, but for me, certain people are just not as forward. Like, I get into a group of even just two people and I let other people do the talking. I get into a group with one person. If they're a talkative person, they get to do the talking. <laughs> you have two people, they get to do the talking. I basically fade into the background. Not your idea funny. I ain't laughing. Separated into pairs. Yep, that makes it manageable. All major characters were scrapped. Oh, no. Yup. And it don't mean a damn shit if you can't back it up. How about we test them bold claims? Fine by me. Eliminate you both with my bare hands. Up. This doesn't involve Kazucha. Huh? That's where you're wrong, White Lotus. 
This man is Kazuma Kiri, no, none other than the man who defeated Lao Kaiyong a year ago. And now that you've sided with him, you are a traitor to your school. He's speaking true, Kazuchan? Did you really take out La Kaiyong? La Kaiyong? Uh. I did. His snake flower triad kidnapped someone very important to me. He also set me up with a fake passport scheme 13 years ago. We have a long history, and none of it's good. So, Granny, you were his teacher. Yep. I booted his ass out of the curb ages ago, though. Didn't have a shred of respect for the school or what it stood for. No respect. Respect or no, we are all members of the Snake Flower Triad, including you, White Lotus. Were. Kan Long went in and got Triad crushed with his own arrogance. Can't blame Kazuchan for that. You hopeless old hag! Defiant to your last breath, which draws even closer. Oh, give it a rest, would ya? You flap your lips like a donkey begging for a carrot, and I'm fed up with your sound. I also love the interpersonal relationships and how the characters play off of each other based on those things. Most fun part. Which is also, I realized what I really like to write is established relationships, and so then a lot of stuff that I've done more recently starts out with characters knowing each other. I mean, not like Jan and Blake, because obvious for obvious reasons, but if you look at like Joey and Jag, they know each other. Most of the Yakuza people know each other. Except, that, I mean, even Michi already had a relationship with Katsumo when uh, Shigemi gets over there. So I just like having people have developed relationships and how it affects the group. As opposed to always starting everything with this is the beginning of a love story and these characters are just meeting for the first time every time. Now shut up and fight me! I guess I should have expected this. Let's go, Granny. What would they be doing traveling all across the countryside? Is my my question. Do you have them on a mission or just kind of like sightseeing? in a human pile. Yeah, when you're in like a whole countryside, that implies so much travel time. And then people, especially when you're reading fantasy, expect you to describe everywhere that you're going. It's a lot. All bark, no bite, huh? Guess you still got a ways to go before you super surpass Ka Long. Er. Yep. Technically also started a somewhat new relationship with Ralph because she'd been to that bar before, but she wasn't, like... No super relationship with Ralph, just that it existed. What exactly is the meet cute? Like, I know it's a trope. Is it just that they have a cute way of meeting? One more thing. One more thing. Stay away from the old lady. You hear me? Huh? Answer me. Yes. We keep our distance we promise. this isn't anything against like new characters and new relationships meeting because you can only it's just another option for your story building <laughs> i know that i have to i have to comment on that because if i say one thing then people sometimes take it to mean it's always a a red slip on it and i'm like no. there are times when characters got to meet for the first time i'm just saying i like exploring character relationships that are established. You don't gotta worry about me, Kazuchan. I have more on that. 
These two will smash faces later. <laughs> okay, oh, that's just when they go, them, them violet eyes. A pup like this ain't ever gonna stand a chance as he is. You hear that, Yen Long? Gonna have to keep draining another hundred years before the real threat. Damn it. Appreciate that, Kazu-chan. It was nothing, though I get the feeling that you could have taken them all by yourself, Granny. Sure coulda. Might have not been such a walk in the park, though. Hey, can I ask you something? <gasps> What's that, Sonny? You knew I was Lock Hyung's enemy the moment you approached me, didn't you? Yeah. He might have straight the path I tried to pound into his knocking, but a pupil's a pupil. Couldn't eat to the boy even if I tried. And if you turned out to be an even bigger SOB than Khan Long himself, well, I'd have strangled you on the spot. But turns out you ain't so bad, Kazu-chan. You're more a man than Ka Young will ever be. Sorry for testing you like that. It's all right. I don't didn't mind showing you around, Granny. Had a great time myself, Kazuchan. Well, I gotta go catch my train. Osaka's got its share of grannies, but none that can fling a fist like me. It's been good. Be careful out there, Granny. Who do you think I am? A tough cookie. I'll like me'll be a centre centenarian and still taking it to thugs. Oh, in here. Bet this is what everyone's been after this whole time. Scroll of spearmanship. Come see me if you ever find yourself in Osaka. Catch you later, Kazu-chan. I feel like Meet Cute is a great name for a book that satirizes the Meet Cute and makes it not what it's meant to be now that Ruth is saying and some murder, too. <laughs> the meat cute is halfway through the book when she goes to the fire party and describes Rysand as having been a sexy man. Since he is endgame. I never would have thought that old lady would have turned out to be La Ka Long's master. Maybe she could teach me a thing or two. I should have looked her up in so far if I ever get the chance. Okay, but this is where I was going to go with it. With the, uh... The uh, other crutch that I see, especially in romances, which is also unfortunate, at least in contemporary romances, which is also unfortunate because you like the whole purpose of a romance is to court and be in that relationship and show that fun relationship. But so many of them spend the first book doing that meeting and flirting and cute thing because the end game is to get together at the end. So they're constantly either fighting or being torn apart the whole time because they're not allowed to have sex because that is the climax, literal climax. Um, but then that's also why so many romances also have an amnesia arc in their second book. Because then you just do the whole like, courting ritual all over again, as if it's a brand new relationship, and it's not. Or you end up with a situation like an Akhtar, when it's a the mess of the relationship from the first book, to start a completely different relationship in the second book. Instead of actually just developing the relationship that the characters are in, But is a meat cute a re I was looking for the That's where I was looking. But is a meat cute a requirement of a romance novel or is it like a new genre expectation or is it just a trope but it's not a requirement? Bro, we writing real love. Look at our sweet children. All of them. There is... And there are different types of love between them. 
But you've got the brotherly love. Sup, pal? I know I said I was gonna take over my family grape farm and all, but I don't want to give up my dream that easy. Even if music ain't my thing, I want to be a star. That's why I'm gonna make Mashiba Construction the hottest thing in town. <laughs> Just hit me up with the beats when you need an elbow grease. Well, thanks, bro. Because we got brotherly love, and we've got sisterly love, and family love. With their extended families, even. We got all kinds. I need to go the other direction. The meat cute is genre expectations. But what happens when you start? Okay, so then what about when you're doing like a dark romance? Is there still an expectation of a meat cute and dark romance? Because a lot of those have to do with like kidnappings or murder or abuse or stalkers. And these guys are just getting Cuba face all over. Oh, the guys in Sotan Bori are just eager today. Not Sotan Bori, the guys in Kamurocho. Like, I should get some of these other ones, because then I could get more assist. Oh my gosh. That- oh my gosh. That puts hot sauce in dude's eyes. What's this one? That one puts hot soup in people's eyes. I should be getting some of these. I've been saving to do other things, to be honest. Safety first. <laughs> it's a home shot. The guy beats him up first. Just more soup. What the frick is that? Oh my, what the frick? Got mama giving us a bat. And then we get over to so glory. To be honest, I think some of these were what I was waiting for to get. Actually, was there a <laughs> like max boost sprint over here. Like max boost experience points over here. Thank you. Anyway. Look, the cult is Florida, man. Oh, wait. <laughs> Ruth sent her characters to Florida. Because it's appropriate, I can see that for Shigemi. Okay. Here we go. What the? Uh, no. I'm looking for a key. Thank you.
very much. I'm not here to be a pervert like all of you. Oh yeah, also, hey Jack, I meant to say that and then I got distracted with and I was telling the story. And I was very... My apologies. Is there another one? Look, you can you can do what I did with Nee, which is I invented a location in Ukraine, but that also kept the vibe of where I was trying to make it. But also, I didn't have to be completely accurate since I was making up my own thing. Hey, Jacob, what's up? Let me welcome you to the mistakes. Welcome. You only you only get you only get removed from the mistakes if you misbehave. No, Nee is not real. It's, uh, it was Ukrainian for nowhere. It was just a town I made up to be along the, the northeastern border with Russia. Uh, hello? Are you the cleaning guy? Something like that. I'm here to clean up. Huh? The hell are you thinking about, buddy? Boy. You're the guy from the Forestry Association, right? I, and, you know, Sam and uh, Abigail are both the big mistakes of the chat. Misbehave morally. Ah. Makes sense. I don't gotta tell you anything. Now, get out of here before I call the cops. Go ahead. I'm sure they'd love to hear about what you've been up to. Where's that clipboard you had? I assume everyone's data is on there. I lost it. Here you're still living in 1989 over here. He's like, just give me the clipboard as if it's not all on the computer. I lost it on the way to City Hall. Uh-huh. Oh. Hands off the computers, man. So that's where the data is, huh? Sorry. Made, you made this personal. Ugh! You can't just barge in here and start accusing me of shit. I'm gonna give you the... I, I, I'm, I'm gonna give you the data, all right? With my fist! He's like, here he is, smashes. The hard drive, and then it thinks the data is gone when it's all on the cloud. How did you get that text message? I smashed that phone. What if I still destroy the PC? Oh, the PCs are over here. That is, that is not what I need to do. Break in the computer, let's go. <laughs> Look, here you. NFTs are basically like real estate, except it's digital. <laughs> Gary is just like, so where is it? Well, it's on your phone. <laughs> it's just like, this sounds like a scam. Katsuo, are you trying to scam me? No, absolutely not. <laughs> No, not the computers. All that personal info, my friend's email address, my collection of secret videos, even my blog, it's all gone. Hey, Katsuo's not an NFT, bro. He just sees a good scam when, <laughs> when he hears about it. Serves you right to lose so much information after everything you stole. Damn it! I knew that. Yeah, good. Your videos are lost, former activist. I knew that I should have backed up my hard drive. So, you're done scamming people, right? R right. Never again, man. Never again. Anyway, let me apologize for what I did. Uh. One more thing. There's more. 
you remember a guy named Kenya? A host from Stardust? Ke Kenya, you fleeced him for over half a million yen. It's time that you pay it all back. You've probably conned so many innocent people that you can't even tell them apart, but I'm sure that you'll manage. If you don't, I'll be back. <laughs> yes, sorry, sir. I get it. He would dunk on the crypto bros. I guess I should be more careful with my personal data. I did like the idea of more trees, though. Though I also see him being the kind that... This has nothing to do with NFTs. It just has to do with the clicker that I just saw. Right clicker Katsuo. I can see him sitting in class and like... He just has one of those clicker games on his phone. Because he doesn't have any interest in school, so he just... Hides it under his desk. Play cookie clicker all day. Until they take away his phone. Or he gets caught too many times. Then he's just bored and sad. Check <laughs> out my cookie empire. Hell yeah. He would be so proud of that, too. Raynor! Welcome. You got here just in time for the funeral. Crab is here. Torado. It's just like when I lost Kazuma-san. I'm left here to wonder how it was you and not me. I guess I've got more to accomplish first. あの神宮派が合流会と手を組んだとなれば、また多くの血が流れることは避けられないね。とにかく一刻も早く合田会長の居場所を突き止めることです。坂月最高様、奴らの動きは封じられる。おい、何者だあいつら。どうなってんだ。Hope he, you know, he's got a grandchild to look forward to. He's got, yeah, two grandchildren, basically, with Haruka. What the hell is going on? Is it freaking Majima's just gonna drive a truck through the front gate? I still think of Toehead when I think of this area. The fingerling. ゴリュウ会の連中。そこどかんでよげ。元気。またお会いしましたな、キルハ。ここから先は一歩も通さない。今日はリュウジさんもおらへん。アンさん殺す気で思いっきり暴れさせてもらいますぜ。やれや。
<laughs> so you know it's not gonna be anything special, but it is my So we gotta figure out something. I mean we could just play this or we could play the or we could play the Majin Masaga that's on here. Oh, it's also Mother's Day. I have to figure that out. What will do? <laughs> Mom, cheat. For zero? Okay. I'm only on like chapter four. So, you know, you come to her. どう若頭大公の柏木だ。ほんまでっか <笑> テメイの仕業だろうが。大丈夫。キャッチは <laughs> 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 こんな<笑> さえ。合流会の金など受け取れん。登場会は合田会長の気持ちを思うと胸が痛くなるよ。何が言いたいんや、オーバーハン。親はね、どんなに出来の悪い子供でも可愛いもんなのさ。けどね、これだけ筋違いのことをされちゃ、血の繋がった親としては死
わしらもその間はもう二服させてもらいますせやから三日後再戦と行きましょう再戦だとそうやもうこれ以上ごちゃごちゃせんと一気に片付けましょうやカムロ町に血の雨を降らせたりますせやけどうちには礼儀知らずのおっさんおるからの多分今頃カムロ町のどこぞで派手なパフォーマンスを繰り広げとるはずや礼儀知らず誰だ戦国や戦国Fight. That's been like some super fun. These games have some super fun cinematics in them. Even the chapters are it's like the wild car chase with the bazooka. You're just like, I'm down. I am down for the insanity. Tattoo will freaking love hearing that story. Hell yeah. My man. No. No, you're good. He has taken out a bunch of people now. Why did he not bring his crew? He's got so many dudes now at the construction company. Did he just see them coming into town and so then he fought them off for carry you? Yeah. Hello? Uh. Sayama, sorry. I got too tied up to call you. I got the gist of what happened already. The Omi Alliance have launched their attack. Uh. Yeah, Sengoku specifically. Mm -hmm. Wait, just Sengoku? Why? Can we talk later? There's a lot going on at the moment. Where are you? Near Purgatory. I'm nearby anyway. Just give me a second, I'll be there. No! So what's going on? It's too dangerous for you. Go. Go away. All I've got at the moment is that Raiju is what Raiju said. Wait, Ryuji came out here too? Yeah. The Go Ryu attacked Tojo Clan's headquarters. We beat them back, but he said that he didn't even order it. And if what he's saying is true, then Sengoku's attack was independent of the Go Ryu clan. Seems like the whole Omi Alliance has gone rogue, maybe. But our first priority needs to be punish or pushing Sengoku back. <gasps> right. Let's hurry. <laughs> There we go. Oh, I've been practicing those words. That's a command! Get mad. Am I still missing chicks for the Grand Prix? We still have, oh my gosh, we still have 21 sub stories to find. Somebody else is going to be here in a second. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
So, you know, when he got, what was it, stabbed and then thrown into the freaking B Tokyo Bay? And Kiryu just got into the taxi and went away? <laughs> that would have been worse, too, if, had Kiryu, if not Kiryu, if uh, Katsuo had gone to the Tojo funeral with Kiryu, and then he comes back and his dad is just like that. Oh my gosh. Katsuo would actually panic in this situation. Because I don't think he's ever seen his dad that out of it. Because his dad never takes him when he's doing anything like super serious. He didn't know when his dad was in the hospital in the last game. Uh, for getting stabbed. Because he followed Hitomi. Hitomi pulled him. Watch Junichi. I'm following mom. There is a lot of wiggle room in that image. You could make it be whatever you want it to be. You could make it goat milk. You could make it cow milk. You could make it saliva. You could make it some kind of goo. He wasn't that bloody, that's true. Okay, she's seen him different levels of wounded. She has not seen him almost dying wounded. She has seen him bloody and uh, bruised. And so probably not that bad off. She has seen various levels of wounded. 
experimental pigeon milk. I mean, the more that you expose Katsuo to this stuff, just the more brutal he gets when he's older, the more ready he is to be. He's seen some stuff. Resolute as always. No? We are, aren't we on Pink Street? Near Pink Street? Yeah, we are, right there. got a gun. Hey, you in the white suit. I hear you was the one with them old-timey Yakuza's. One of my uh, subordinates was telling me. Now, uh, I ain't trying to cramp your style or nothing, but between us boys, all the gangsta needs nowadays is a gun. Now, am I right or am I right? What F-bomb? No, Happy's not, Happy's not gonna get in trouble. I'm gonna test that. Hey, hey, sounds like you wanna have some fun. I right, then. I'll show you the moxie of a new generation of Yakuza. This dude looks older than Kiryu. To be fair, Katsuo really didn't consider being kidnapped. All that scary because he harassed him the whole time. And he knows that they were after Kiryu. He like, he like, I've been more scared of Nishitani before. Let's be right. Oh my god, frozen. Stop it. That guy just shot out my legs. Gosh, diddly dang it, thank you. That's what I like to say. Jeez, Louise, you clobbered me like an animal. I never would have thought the fist was mightier than the gun. Looks like I gotta start back up from scratch, if you know what I mean. Here, this is for teaching me something good. Take it. Here, just, uh... Here we go firearms now. Feed me. I've had everything in this shop already. You do more while you have to punch out from that boat. You might not. So, you could. Yeah, you know, considering all considered. I just see that situation when Majima walked towards them all bloodied in the face. And Katsuo was laughing two seconds ago because they just beat the crap out of people at the Tojo Clan HQ, and then he sees his dad stumbling, and he's like, oh my gosh, dad! <laughs> Probably trying not to cry if not already crying.
then he can barely ta explain to his mom what's ha what's in front of him. He's like got his phone out, and she's trying to get him to tell him what's going on. And then Sayama's like, "Give me the phone." <laughs> Is also with my fist. Kunda Koto ste Tadazumana yo. Mo show you a sweet on <笑>自分には聞こえるんです。登場会が音を立てて変わっていくのが。今頃他の幹部は戦国組を送り込んだヒットマンの餌食になっていることでしょう。何？ <笑> 
恥ずかしくねえのかてめえが世話になった登場会を売り渡すような真似をして<笑>売り渡しはしませんよ私が次期会長の座についてついでに姉さんを自分のものにします何を言ってるんだい俺はね姉さん前からあんたに惚れていたんですよ<笑>私から逃れることはできませんよお前何してるか分かってんのかあんたの手、like, 一年前に錦山の親父と女取り合ったでしょうがそれが原因で登場会がガタガタになっちまった結局俺もあんたも同じ穴の無事なってことですよお前の女になんかなるつもりはないよ方々に女を作っていた堂島組長より私の方が姉さんを幸せにできますあんたにあの人の何がわかるってんだい他に女を作ろうとなんだろうと私はずっと堂島宗平という男だけを見続けていた死んだ今でも気持ちは同じさ死んだ聞いたろ好きになった男を愛し続けることができるそれが女の強さだそんな能書きはどうでもいいですよ欲しいものを力で奪うそれだけですそんなことは俺が許さない受けて立ちましょうあんたの首取って登場界の跡目を継ぐそして俺は姉さんを手にするんだ時代は変わるんですよ Considering in the other alternate version that、uh, Monty and I have, Nishiki and Kiryu run this stuff together. This would only be if he wanted to break out from being under Nishiki. <laughs> Did we tell you where Masato came from? Because we developed that. And Masato is all Nishiki's fault. I just can't remember if we shared it or not. Yup, you did hear that right. So, if we go back, I should be playing. If we go back to when Nishi was 22, whatever, 20, when he was going through his arc with、uh, his power arc, trying to make a name for himself and get out from underneath Kiryu's shadow, and he was struggling with Nalki at the time,、uh, he was, that's when he actually had his first kill. Not, you know, 13 years, a couple of years later. But one of the people that he ended up killing, if not the person that he ended up killing, was Masato's father. And so then Masato was like seven or eight years old. And so he swore that he would get revenge on the Yakuza that killed his father. He was also, Masato was also Yakuza. So he grew up with the intentions of getting back at Nishiki. And so then the murder that Katsuo was set up for was actually Masato getting rid of Kat getting Katsuo out of the way because Katsuo was always around Shigemi. So he couldn't get at Shigemi. What do you think that Masato's number one、uh, way to get back at Shigemi? At Nishiki was? Well, Nishiki took away his father, so he was going to take away Nishiki's <sighs> beloved child.
But since Shigemi and Katsuo were always around each other, he needed to get rid of Katsuo. So he framed Katsuo for murder, which got Katsuo out of the way. Then he was going to go in for Shigemi, but then Shigemi both got a bodyguard and then was also sent out to Osaka to work with her grandma at times. Yeah, Masato framed him. And so then Masato enters into the scene about the same time that Mishi enters into the scene on Katsuo's side. And Masato just befriends Shigemi over in Osaka. And he just seems like a nice guy. So for two years, he becomes friends. And genuine friends with Shigemi. So like later... So is he ultimately Katsuo's story villain? He is not. Katsuo's story villain comes later. Because Katsuo's story villain is actually the whatever is in control of Osaka. Like, we have tears. We have, t we have multiple plot lines for this. We have to deal with the other things before Katsuo's, Katsuo's story villain actually comes about. But the whole time you think that the villain is actually Katsuo's fault for him going, being sent off to Sotenbori. And then it turns out, oh, it's Nishiki's fault. From when he was young and his mistakes from the past have have come back to haunt him because you know he when Nishiki was doing his power arc and then he came back down from insanity and recovered with Naoki there wasn't really a whole lot of fallout because Kat Kiri welcomed him back and Naoki welcomed him back and they they strengthened their relationship and then you know he and Kiryu moved into creating power together uh, with Kazuma and Tachibana but so, like, it turned out much, much for the best. And then 20 years later, freaking Masato comes out to kill his child for the mistakes he made when he was an angry young man. I don't need to play it all out, Manaya, because I'm going to write it. I appreciate that. But this is all part of the actual story structure that... The actual story that Monty and I are creating. So we don't need a place to play it all out because we already have, and we're going to play it all out more legitimately later. Are you all right? Yes. Let's go check on Daigo. Dude, Manaya is like eight months too late for this. Nine months too late for this because Monty and I have been going at it strong since. Pretty much episode three. Because I had to have Hitomi made by episode three. Let's go check on Daigo and Kashiwagi. Come on. Anyway, Katsuo's big boss actually comes after the cabaret arc. And the cabaret arc deals with Michi's past. By past, I mean like her grandfather, uh, her grandfather's enemies that killed her parents. And then Katsuo winning the cabaret tournament and dealing with those guys and also dealing with some of Kaede's past gets the attention of the guy in charge of the territories in Osaka. And then he comes at Katsuo and that's going to be Katsuo's big boss, big baddie, and beating him will ultimately get Katsuo Sato's back. But so all of these have to be in order. Because the events affect each other. You almost got me. Though. made something fantastic, Monty. Something so big and so awesome. I mean, look at how much story we have. We have at least three games worth of story. 
It's ridiculous. ぶっ殺してやる。Like I saw this destroy my bro. Nasakenai Sindo no Yona Otokoni Nodomoto ni Yaiba o Tskera Retoa. Daiko Moshake Gozaimos and Dista. O my no second in Janai. Show men Kara Kuruno Nara Madashimo. Como Urao Kakareta. Teno Utsioga Nidaro. いいかい。クミンに伝えるんだ。カムロ町でオミレンゴのものを見かけたら用意させることはない。力ずくで叩き出せとね。はい。Hey Andy, what's up? Hope you have a good sleep. Thanks for stopping in. これだ。we still got a clear date, I totally forgot. What? Uh-oh. Oh, I didn't think so. Why are you talking about it? Don't worry about it. It's bad. I saw the face of my face. I don't think I'm still aware of anyone. The person who is in the 13th floor is not the same as the person who is in the 13th floor. ついにその事件にたどり着いたかさすがだ知ってたのかこの事件をああ最後のページを見てみろカワラさんと不敬の別所さんがああ俺たちが担当したんだあんたこの事件を知ってて今回の捜査に参加したのかああ公安の倉橋は人言派を探ってると耳にして捜査の協力を申し出たんだなぜ俺はその事件に借りがあるんだ借りもう俺の役目は終わったあとはお前に任せるどういうことだ訳は聞くな河原さん あの人言派の事件を課長が担当していたってことは柏木さんの言ってた担当刑事っていうのはああ別所さんだ本当に間違いない極秘の資料に名前が載ってた河原の奥さんもそう言っていた私にはそんなことは一言も言ってなかったの
しかし上層部にそれが漏れて別所さんは府警に飛ばされた伊達さんはもうこの辺で手を引いた方がいい人工派はただの組織じゃない深追いすると命に関わるそれに警察に追われているんだバカ言え今さら後に引けるかお前これからどうするんだ郷田会長がまだ見つかっていない龍二を追いかけて関西へ向かう His trench do look fly. So we've both got business in Kansai, right? Uh. Yeah. I'm worried about Chairman Goda. All right. Well, I need to get my stuff. Meet me back at Serena's later. Mm -hmm. No problem. Eh. I'll call you when I'm ready. See you then. Mashima just in the hospital for the rest of the game now. For restaurants I haven't been to yet. It would be your favorite. Give me not the parfait. I've I've eaten everything here as well. What is this? Are there any restaurants I have not eaten at yet? Oh my God. Maybe this one. So, go. Thank you. In the toilet. Do they have toilet? Karaoke. Well, we're waiting for Sayama. I have some thoughts of what we can go and do. Up six and blade resistance up fourteen. What's it doing here?
the ring that we're wearing. I could, I could put on a third armor. The ring that we're wearing makes us stronger the more life we ちょっと待ってください。桐生さんでしょ。お前は高志。はい。あの、その説はお世話になりました。ちょうど1年前、俺は最後の名の息子高志を助けてやったことがあった。高志は後部組の組長の娘京香と。真面目に暮らしているはずだった。ねえ、高志、何やってんの？競馬で儲かったから奢ってくれるんじゃなかったの？誰だそいつは？京香はどうした？あ、これはその。頑張って、京香を幸せにするんじゃなかったのか？そう
しばらく寝てろ。いらっしゃいませ。My guy. How drunk does that make us? 気に入ったぜ。さあ、行くか。Oh. Oh. ありがとうございました。How bad is eight? Guys, <laughs> he's not watching straight. He is swerving out of my control. Here he was an eight on the drunk scale. And he's like, I'm fine. My breath does not smell like alcohol, sir. You're clear, get a pass. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. That's, I'm not walking into a wall, it's fine. Ow! Oh no! That's not what I was trying to do. He just jumped off the side of that because he's drunk. He 100% just beelined it for that rail on his own. I was trying to go for the escalator. We need to walk it off, like for real. There are camera monitors on the floor. Boy. Floors, it's your son. Takashi wants to meet you. But the question is, are you willing to meet with him? <sighs> you said it yourself, he's pathetic. No backbone in that kid. Not a trait he picked up from me, that's for sure. That's your answer then? Yeah. I don't even want to look at him. Hmm. No backbone, huh? Maybe the apple doesn't fall far from the tree. <laughs> hey, it's not my thing. I guess we're done here then. Wait, Takashi. The kid wants to talk to the florist, right? Uh. Yeah, he does. Then that's what I'll meet him as. Bring him up. All right. Mm -hmm. Hey, is that a smirk? Nah, somewhere deep down, you want to meet this kid, I think. Oi. Mind your own damn business. Just bring him the little shit in. If by train conductor, you mean computer conductor. Accurate. I think we are... <laughs> Just walk through it. We are aggressively less drunk right now because we can actually walk straight again. So eight bottles is too much. Seven bottles. That is functional. Push for the limit. But we could die of alcohol poisoning, I feel like. Rachel, you push, you drive a hard bargain. What is this place? That's not. I was like, that's not the place. It must be a gambling place, right? Nope, that's the DVD center. We are clearly still drunk because of how much I'm running into things, but you know what? I made a concrete. I am the dragon... Dojima. Oh, hey, curious son How'd it go? Uh. He's got a minute he can spare you. Let's head up. Wow, really? Prepare yourself, Takashi.
your dad is not impressed with you. Takashi, this is the florist. Hi, my name is Takashi. Mm -hmm. I don't need your life story, kid. You know how busy I am. Because Kiryu is famous. He made a name for himself. First in 1989, because uh, he almost tore the Doshima apart because of the murder accusation and uh, Kazuma standing up for him and not punishing him the way that he was supposed to and then him defying and leaving the family. Technically getting expelled from the family by because of Kaz uh, Kuze. And then beating Shibasawa at the end. And then everybody knows of him because of uh, the when Nishiki shot Dojima and Kiryu took the fall and everybody was talking about Kiryu. And then when he got out of prison and he dealt with that situation, he gets around and has made himself a legend for what he all has done since, you know, he was 20, basically. And also he meets a bunch of people by just doing chores. Then you already know why. You want the dirt on the girl you eloped with, right? I just need to know what Kyoka is doing. I didn't ask for your reasons. You're in the market for info I happen to be selling. That's all that is. Got it? Yes. So, one t more time. You want info on this chick you ran off with? Yes. Once you know the truth, there's no going back. I'm sure you won't regret it. He was also the fourth chairman of the Tojo clan for like five minutes before immediately resigning. Also true. Also true. I'm sure no matter what I find out, I'll deal with it. I'll take it. All right, then. Hmm. Guys, do you think she's cheating? According to Ruth, you got a one in four. もしもし、私、うん、うん、会ってくれるの？うん、分かった。今なら高橋出かけてるから大丈夫。じゃあいつものところで。It's her father? あの男、私仕事を辞めたそうだな。それは高橋のせいじゃなくて。お前たちにはまだ無理だったんだ。もう諦めたらどうだ。いつでも戻ってきていいんだぞ。ありがとう、お父さん。でも私高橋のこと信
What do you know about my dad? I'm an informant, information dealer. What don't I know about your dad? Would you be able to find out about him then? Where he is now? What he's doing? If he's even still alive? There's nothing I can find out. I can't find out. Mr. Florist, can you track down my father? You got the cash? What? My fee. Can you pay it? How much would it be? More than your sorry ass can afford, that's for sure. No use quoting it. When you can actually support yourself and that girl, you can come see me again. Maybe then we'll talk like men. What do I owe you for this time, then? This one's going on my tab with Kiryu. I still owe him a few. Thank you. Thank you. Not Thank him, not me. Thank you, Kiryu-san. Really. <laughs> True that. You're an impressive father. Oi. Father my ass. That was strictly professional. Since when do you work pro bono? <laughs> Shut up. Like I said, we're square now. For real, what is it? It was the, that freaking book that I post, author I posted earlier in the chat. One of her books. The one that's not the romance. That is, uh, in the comments, said, ripped off Akatar. <laughs> Another story where Chick is going around stealing stuff in order to pay off her cousins and her aunt's debts. I'm ready to go. I'll wait for you at Serena's, okay? Alright, I'll be right there. So yeah. <laughs> He's a YA fantasy plotline. Other people's debts let you get into sex slavery while also not having a problem of your own. You just look big hearted because you're stealing for other or you're taking money for other people's benefits. So you get lots of extra points. This is actually what we were gonna do. And we got so rudely interrupted by Takashi being a dingbat. Inconvenient hard. Weapon hard. Light up the back market hard. Normal swordsman, okay. Well. Best chips. That's why I was noticing that as well. They were all just little bat boys for me. Oh, my God. 
Oh my god.
just a side mission, Groot. We were hired by, uh... Ah! Oh my god, bro. You made me drop my weapon. Hired by a bartender. Nightmares Kamurocho edition. True. Yes, that, that is... Yes, see, this is the man that hired us, Ruth. Looks like you're really at home now in this bouncer gig, as you can see. Insult. Oh my gosh, look at all those points. I don't know, where did all these points come from? Uh, we're gonna boost that experience. Uh, do we want max sprint? Probably. Sub story finder? I thought we had a oh, weed. I was like, I thought we had Powerful throw. Further boosts the damage done by throws. Boosts weapon damage. Boosts taunt. I don't even remember how to do weapon damage. Or how to do taunts. <laughs> sure, why not? I feel like I should be getting these. We're gonna head back. Oh good, we already beat the tower. Oh wait, no, that's the towering giants. Which one was inside of the... Sotenbori Purification? Which one was inside of... <laughs> Isn't that like it? The Millennium Tower. I don't know if I'm just mind minorly better at fighting now. Not very good, but still better. It is the jazz. <laughs> Oh, my God. 
hot damn. Ah! Let's be real, Katsu will wear that. I, I can see Kaede wearing a flower shirt like that too. Katsu does it ironically. I like his shirt. It's hard. Hmm. We'll see. Oh no, this is the Millennium Tower one. Oh no. Different angle. 
getting them experience points. Which is what I like to get. Angle free here. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Anyway. We'll get more of that later. I see that we are not drunk anymore. Let's get two burgers and the tomato soup. We just have one of everything on the menu apparently. You might not. Arigatouzaimashita. We were just doing errands. We could have taken longer, played some karaoke. No one can believe it. The boss was talking to me before I was in Kamurocho. I didn't even know that. I've been waiting for a long time. I'm not going to lie to you. 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 あの人だけは私のことを理解してくれてると思ってたでも自分は裏でヤクザとつるんでたなんてあなたには悪いけどまず最初に府警に行ってもらうわ人言派の事件を調べるのが先よ勝手にやれ、like, go go 俺はゴーダ会長を探す勘違いしないでねあなたはまだ私の監視下にいるのよ勝手な行動は許さないわスラッパーいいわね She's apparently not learned enough yet that she girl bossing doesn't work
つまんなこんなとこしか空いてのってまあ話するにはここが一番ええやろエイトレス what's up でわしに何の用や二十数年前カムロ町で起きた同島組と人号派の抗争事件課長が担当していたそうですねなんや取り調べみたいやのそうやわしが担当したそれがどないしたんや課長今回のミレニアムタワー爆破とゴーダジン堂島大吾の誘拐の一件人号派が絡んでいる可能性が高いです<笑>担当直入に聞きますが課長何か知ってらっしゃるんじゃないですか知らんでもまあ待てやわしが知ってんのは昔の事件のことだけや今回の事件のことなんか知ってるはずないやないかじゃあなぜ今まで人号派のことを私に教えてくれなかったんですか事件との関係性が見えへん以上不必要に情報を伝える必要はない混乱を招くだけや本当ですねああじゃあ二十数年前に起きた事件のことを教えてくださいせやな何から話そうかもう聞いとるかもしれんが当時わしはカムロ署の四課におったんや知ってますそれで堂島組の手引きをしたまあ簡単に言うたらそうやせやけどそれしか道はなかった警察ではどうにもならんかったんやあいつらの実態はつかめんわ略奪と暴行で市民は恐怖に陥るわ人言派がカムロ町に拠点を構えてから手がつけられんほど町は荒れとったんじゃどんなことがあろうとヤクザとは裏取引をしてはいけないそれが腐敗の一歩になるんだと課長はいつも言ってるじゃないですかあん時は他に方法がなかったんじゃもを変えます消えたはずの人言派がなぜか今動いているこれについては何か知ってるんですね当時人言派の構成員は36人の組織やったこのうち死体として発見されたのが33人3人生き残りがいるってことかそうやそのうちの一人をわしは知っとる誰なんですかソーテンボリにケーマという店があるそこにおるわ名前は今は村井という名前で生きとるわ村井ですね佐山村井を大阪に連れてきたのはわしや村井っちゅう名前もわしがつけたんやえあいつは奇跡的に一命を取り留めたけど人言派の掟は生よりも死復讐戦闘を生きることは許されんそこで村井は生きることを選んだんやせやからカムロ町から逃げる手助けをしたんや他の生き残り彼の報復を避けるためかそうやわしとカーラが関西へ赴任するときに一緒に連れてきたカーラさんも関西にさやまはい I mean he's in all of them but he's a secondary character so cause I'm a secondary character kind of person 気をつけて命令や理由を言ってください人言派が絡んでるとなりゃかなりの危険が伴う私が女だからですかちゃうそんなこと言うとるんやないわ四冠、oh、の捜査員から外れたぜだけや今さらそんなこと言わないでください<笑>犯罪者を取り締まるそれが私の仕事です今回の事件はヤクザ狩りのようにはいかんのじゃ相手は同じ人間じゃないですかお前は人言派の恐ろしさを知らんからそんなことが言えるんや
あいつら女やろうが子供やろうが手加減せんのんじゃでも私はこれは命令や言うとるやろ見ての通り頑固者でのさやまのやつ守ってくれるかあいつ守れんのはあんたしかおらんねん頼む一つ聞きたいことがあるなんやカオラさんの発砲事件を知ってるな堂島組と人言派の事件と関係があるんじゃないのかそれに関西への不妊ともこれ以上のことはわしの口からは言えんとにかく佐山のこと頼んだで I do appreciate Majima in、uh, Kiwami and Kiwami 2 quite a bit because he seems so much happier than in Zero, which understandably he was not in a good place in Zero, except for when he was around to tell me. Those were the only moments of, re of、uh, reprieve from the torture. But in like every single cutscene, in every single moment of Majima's life in Zero, he is so. Destroyed. Except for the end when he comes into his own and tells Sagawa to shut the fuck up. That is a moment to be had. I love that he is a sieve, and I can associate. He finished his dump and then he got a, you know, his first son was born and he's like, I'm gonna be a s t u p i d do the thing s that I do. He's perfect. He has a perfect sense of humor. The perfect level of ridiculousness and also brutality that is perfect for me. So much harder. But I'm kind of goofy, so it works. Tema t o r s e t See, he's perfect. A lot of people don't get me with mine either. Oh my god. Okay, I thought this guy was a mime for a second. Hey, you got a sec? Suspicious thug? I don't know if I got a sec for a suspicious thug. You're in the biz, right? Sure, you are. I can tell. Got something I want to ask you. You talking to me?、Oh. Sure am. Anyways, I'm looking for something. You know, Tatsu. Yeah? Can you tell me how to find him? Who?、Oh. Tatsu. Who's that? Look, you don't gotta play dumb with me. I'm looking for something extra deadly. I'll pay you a big yen for whatever, you know? I really don't have any idea what you're talking about. Is this Tatsu a weapon dealer or something? Ugh, never mind. He ain't gonna tell me I'll find someone who will. Is that the, the tiger shop guy?、Uh, now I'm curious about this Tatsu guy myself. That guy went down the footpath. Maybe I can get more details from him. Chase him down and beat him. Buy the shares. Oi, oi. Tell me about that Tatsu, you dumpster diving piece of shit! You don't got the foggiest idea what you're talking、oi. about. Who is this Tatsu guy that you're asking for? Well, 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 if it ain't the chump from earlier, I told you, forget it. You're the one who approached me, remember? Look, I don't got time for you giving me a third degree. I'm pissed off enough trying to search for leads here. You keep it up and I'm gonna give you, tear you a new one.、Mm. Try me. He's like, let's solve this with fists, bitch. So, yeah, you wanna, so you wanna throw down, huh? Nice knowing you, pal. This isn't gonna this could be the end of the line. I mean, you made a mistake, sir. 
Yuri does not mess around. Oh, please, please tell me what I want to know. Shit, man, you're built like a ton of bricks. Oh, fine, but don't tell anybody that you heard it from me, all right? Rumor goes this tattoo fellow will sell you practically anything, but you gotta have it in, have an in from one of his regulars. People say that he's got a real good shit, illegal, dangerous, you know the deal. Beyond all that, they say he's operating out of Sotenbori. No clue where, but he's close. I can almost smell the guy. That's all I got for you. I'm out of here. Yeah, run. You got a good head on your shoulders, buddy. Maybe I can do something for you. That thug was a real thorn in my ass, sniffing around here about Tatsu and all. Just about took a swing at me, he did. Don't know if this'll help you, but I'll introduce you to someone special. Someone who knows more about Tatsu. Man goes by Kinoshida, up north on Bishamon Bridge. He'll tell you what you want to know. So you knew all along. Thanks, old man. No, I can't even go in there. I was like... It's on the other side. Well, now that they just watched me walk into that glass like a fool. Hello. Excuse me, uh, you wouldn't, wouldn't happen to know who I am, would ya? Mm -hmm. No ah. idea. Right, of course not. Shouldn't have, should have known. What am I gonna do? What's wrong? I was walking down the stairs when I took a real bad tumble. I think I'd ended up losing all of my memories in the process. I've been flagging down everyone who walks by since. Gotta be someone in this town who knows me, you know? Michi. He needs Michi. Maybe, but I'm not that something. Damn it. How am I ever going to get my memory back? Feels like there's something real important that I had to do today. You think there's any way that I can get better? Go to the hospital. Try hitting your... Let, let me hit you. I guess I could punch you a few times. Maybe the impact would rattle your brain wiring and get you back on track. Man, that's brilliant. Go for it. Hit me. Right on the noggin. That was a joke. Have you checked your pockets for anything that might help you remember? Nope. Let me look it. Take a look. Uh, I got some kind of note. What does it say? Ten mil end of the day. End of day. You think that I won the lottery or something? Maybe it's a reminder for me to collect my earnings. That's certainly an optimistic look way of looking at a note like that. But it does sound important. I gotta remember ASAP then. Come on, man. Give me a good whack or two. I won't sue ya or nothing. Promise. Are you sure? All right. I guess some problems just need to be solved with your fists. But don't blame me in the end if if I end up if this ends up hurting you more than it helps. Okay? Thanks a lot, buddy. Here, let me thank you in advance. But take make sure that you don't kick my ass. Okay? You got to do something that'll send a real shock to my brain. Shock? Huh? All right. In that case, make sure to fight back too, or it'll look bad for anyone watching. <laughs> I tell you, he just needs me. He knows everybody. The hell are you doing, huh? I asked you to shock me, not beat the effort loving crap out of me. Uh, what am I gonna do? Hello. Hey there. Sorry about that before. Come on. You're the only guy I can ask. Will you please help me, pretty please? But make sure you don't kick my ass, okay? You gotta do something that'll send a shock. Okay. I'm just supposed to... I'm not actually supposed to kick the crap out of him. I see. There's a method to this. Was that not it? Oh. There's just a random phaser on the ground. Well, did that work? 
I... I remember everything. It's all coming back. That note was a reminder to somebody at the end of the day uh, if I'm... Mm -hmm. to go collect 10 mil. Wait, what? That's somebody. It's right in front of me. You're a dead man, Kazuma Kiryu. Oh my god. It was a trap! doing here? Why does it feel like I'm forgetting something? Excuse me. You wouldn't happen to know who I am, would you? Yeah. Nope. No clue. Mm. Oh, alright. Sorry for asking you out of the blue like that. What was I doing? Yeah, go. Live free from thought. Hey. Hey, Frozen. Kiryu-san, yeah? Name's Kinoshita. Nice meeting ya. Let me cut to the chase. You wanna see Tatsu? Uh. That's right. And I'm gonna have to give you a little test first. Follow me. Like, we're gonna play golf. Look, Kiryu-san, I ain't doubting you, but I want to make sure that I don't go wasting Tatsu's time with some punk who don't know his shit. Let me guess. I need to prove myself? Yup. Gotta see if you're the real deal. Now let's get see what you got. The guy could've just watched me beat that dude with the golden suit this entire time right in front of him, but no. Just as strong as I was expecting, looks like I lose. Tatsu must not be a regular merchant if it's that difficult to reach him. You ain't wrong about that. Sorry again for having to test you. Anyways, you know the homeless guy you sent you to me? His name's Murata. Go tell him that you beat me and, call, and he'll call Tatsu over. Murata, got it. Well, my job's done here. Later. What if, what if I didn't fight this guy? And I just made him... And I just went over and talked to the guy and said, Hey, I beat that guy, by the way. He's still over here, right? Yeah. Uh, where are you at, my friend? Oh, there you are. Boy. Murata, right? I beat Kinoshida. Of course you did. Guy like you could beat an army of Kinoshitas. Give me for testing you like that, though. Can't let just anyone meet the big boss. Anyway, let me call him up. You need some sleep. Maybe less alcohol. How's it hanging, Murata? Same old, same old. Got a new customer for you, though. I can see that. You got a name, buddy? It's Kiryu. Yeah, Good meeting you, Kiryu-san. You can call me Tatsu. I see you already know my business uh. partner, Murata. Yeah, nice to meet you. I didn't realize that you were operating out of a boat. 
Helps me keep my distance from folks I ain't interested in dealing with. If I don't like them, I just drive off into the sunset. But don't worry, I ain't gonna run off now. You earned the chance to take a look at what I got. Thanks. I'll try to make the, take, make the most out of this opportunity. Let me tell you, Kiryu-san, my family's been doing this shit for generations now. I'm number 15 in a long line of tetsus, tatsus. My ancestors were selling Portuguese rifles to Nobung, Nobunaga centuries ago. That tells you anything. Anyhow, that's enough of the prologue. Let's roll into the main event. Baseball? This is... You cannot buy more weapons with a full inventory. I can't even get anything. This is unreasonable. What if I... What if I... I have a nameless katana. Whatever, I have all of these. You talk to Murata if you ever want to stop by me again, you hear? I have a sword that would cost like three million. I think we're okay. Oh. Oh, Kondo. What's this guy? What's up, bro? Oh. Guy was gonna snap me clean in two. Oh yeah, we were looking for restaurants. いらっしゃいませ。ああ。Please don't interrupt the show. You call that a show? Sounded like some more like a dying pig calling out for its mama. Oi! Don't you think, buddy? I think that's a bit extreme. Extreme is right. It ain't just bad, it's straight up noise pollution. I'd rather jam pencils into my eardrums than have to listen to another note of this bullshit. Noise pollution. You heard me right, Piggy. Ain't no other word for it. I know music and that vile shit wasn't it. So why don't you go home? If you keep spewing that filth into the airwaves, I'm gonna have to get nasty. Wait, please. Oi. Hey, cut the cut the kids some slack. Excuse me? You really sticking up for this tone deaf sack of yodels? Well, fine. I gotta silence you to silence him, then you leave me no choice and bring it. I feel like this is a little extreme. Kind of situation. Kind of an overreaction. Silence the angry man, he has been silenced. First I get my ears split open by that terrible music, and then I get my face split open by this asshole. What a fucking day. Thanks a ton. How am I gonna repay you? Yeah. No thanks needed. Besides, you seem a little down on your luck by offering anything. Ain't that the truth? I'm Takuo Yoshioka, by the way. Here you. You been singing here long? Just started a couple days ago. I used to busk on the other side of town, but some punk got on my case and handed my ass to me, so it cuts on my face. It cuts on my face? That was his handiwork. It seems like everywhere I go, there's always someone trying to keep me down. Oh, you've got it rough, kid. Ah, no need to pity me. I mean, I have years. I can tell I suck. But the music means the world to me. Whenever life's got me down, music has been there to pull me back up. That's why I write songs. I'm my music 
can help someone who's stuck in the same rut as I am, then I feel like I've made a difference, you know? So you compose your own work? Sure do. When I got the guitar in my hand, the melodies just spring forth from my fingers like music. I can't even count the, how many songs I've written. That's impressive. Serious talent is, is born from the kind, that kind of dedication. <laughs> Thanks, that means a lot. Actually, I've even auditioned for a few major record labels, but they kept dropping me side, side sessions. Said that my songs were great, but my voice dragged them down into the gutter. I wish that I could get my message out to a larger audience, but there's no way. Not with a voice like mine. It doesn't matter how good my songs are, but you've got a voice like a horse, the music dies. Maybe. Maybe I'm not cut out for this. Yeah. That's not true. If you weren't, you wouldn't have endured all of these beatings just to stick with it. If that's not love, I don't know what is. You could never abandon music. Yeah, you're right. Sorry for whining like that. I'm gonna keep trying. Music is my life, after all. I might suck, but it's what I love. Glad you came around. Thank you so much for hearing me out. I'm here performing pretty often, so swing by sometime. I'll sing a song for you. I might sound like a nail on a chalkboard, but I put my heart into every note uh. I sing. Sounds good. I'll see you around. Hey! Can't wait. I like how his guitar strings light up. Okay, we got that one, and then a couple of them down in that bottom alley. Modded stove. <laughs> I, I don't think I can use the Tonfa yet. Totally asking for it a second ago. The only thing I was asking you for was directions. Sure, sure. No need to be modest now. I know what you're really after in this little act a uh, little action. Ugh, it's gross. Mm. What? A little meat on your bones, but eh. Beggars can't be choosers, am I right? Now let's get out of here and have some fun. Look, this is exactly how Feyre met Ryzen. I'm not going anywhere with you. Just leave me alone. Listen, I'm getting tired of this attitude. We're gonna have to teach you some things around here. Besides, there's nobody like you got... Where's a nobody like you gotta be in such a hurry, huh? Come on. We'll show you just how great this city is. We're experts with our hands, you know? It'll be a special night. Promise. Those thugs are going to hurt that girl. I mean, we could just go away. You guys are pathetic. Can't you tell that she's not interested? Did it look like we were asking for your opinion, old man? Please, sir, help me. Ha, 
some kind of jacked up host, buddy. Either way, you shouldn't try to play hero. Think that she'll give you a piece of the action if you save her? Is that it? Sorry to break it to you, but we got dibs. Go take a nap or something, old man, or do we gotta make ya? <laughs> You know, it fools them, because there's no blood on this Welcome back, Monty. You missed a man that couldn't remember who he was. Wanted to kill us. <laughs> Shit! So strong! You still looking for some fun? Because I can keep going. No, man! Girls ain't worth getting our asses kicked like this. Thank you so much, sir. I've never been so scared. It was nothing. Just be careful who you ask for directions in the future. Not everyone's a good guy in the city like this. Yeah, totally. I moved here from the country a while back, so I guess I'm still learning a few life lessons. My name's Mickey, by the way. How long have you been here? Three years, actually. I've always dreamed of becoming a singer, and I thought coming here to Osaka would be the best bet to hit it big. A singer, huh? Yeah, it... Hasn't really worked out, though. I know that I can sing, but I can't write songs to save my life. The record labels I auditioned for wouldn't even let me finish. They said that my voice was great, but the songs I was singing were holding me back. Why does this sound so familiar? I guess I can't get, my, get by on a pretty voice alone these days. I'm not much of her looks, either, if I'm honest. I can't dance, and I can't play any instruments. Maybe I should just give up and go home. Then you need to sing. If you can throw yourself behind what you're good at, you got a chance. <laughs> yeah, but I already did. I tried. I tried so hard. Been here for three years and I still don't know. Left from right at some point. It's just not worth it anymore. Sob. If only I knew someone who shared a kind of passion for music. Maybe with a partner, I could get through this and I wouldn't feel it wouldn't feel so damned hard. I think that's where this is going, Ruth. That kid with the guitar seems to have the opposite problem. Maybe these two would hit it off. I actually know a guy that m you might want to meet. A musician? Uh. Yeah. His voice is nothing to write home about, but his love for music is undeniable. You interested? Wow, you really mean it? I'd love to. I bet we'll find him singing in his usual spot up on the west side of Sotenbori Street. Let's head up Hi. there. Thank you, thank you. guy you know. What's his name? Uh... I think it's Takuo Yoshioka. Oh, I'm actually getting kind of nervous now. Calm down. He's just a regular guy. Come on. They might. They might, Rachel. He's the guy over there with the guitar. Okay. Here I go. Good luck. Excuse me, um, are you Takuo Yoshioka? That melody is incredible. Really? I'm so glad that you think so. You even know my name! How's it going over here? Oh, Kiryu-san. Thanks again for earlier. Are you here to listen to me sing? Not exactly, no. I came to... Excuse me? Did I just hear an explosion off to the side? I came to introduce you to this young lady. I'm Mickey. It's nice to meet you. Mickey-san, huh? She came all the way... It could be an acoustic guitar. I came all- because it looks like an acoustic that I had. Is that what you mean by classical guitar? Because also, you could have plastic strings or you could have steel strings. When I played the guitar, I had steel strings. She came all the way- and they are freaking loud. She 
came all the way here from the country to pursue a career in singing. Thought that she could use a friend with mutual interest. Wow, you must be pretty good if you moved out here just for singing. I don't know about that. I failed every audition I've had. They always praise her voice, though. In that case, I'd love to hear what you got to do. Can you sing for me? Of course. I'd, I'd be glad to. But I'd rather not perform one of the songs that I wrote. They're not very good. That's fine. Sing whatever you like. A modern day hit, a golden oldie, you name it. How about Rogue of Love? Oh, everybody loves that one. Let's see what you got. Okay, here I go. <laughs> Is a classical different than an acoustic? Not bad. Hmm. What did you think? I'm floored. I've never heard such a stunning voice before. That sent chills up and down my spine. Oh, come on. Tell me the truth. He's being serious. Even I got lost in how beautiful that sounded. Hear you, son. Hearing you sing makes me long even more for pipes like those. Gentle, soothing, warm. With a, with a voice like that, nobody would ever turn me away. I could make so many people happy. Who is wrecking stuff on the street over there? Well, thanks, Yoshioka-san. Hey, um... Yoshioka, there we go. What would you say to making music together? <laughs> ah, okay. I was wondering if it was the same thing or not. Since I have a tendency to to know things in a different way than other people, and I never know if we're talking about the same thing, but just have a different experience, or if they are legitimately different things. <laughs> Mashima. I can write songs all day, but as soon as I start to sing, everything falls apart. My voice is scratchier than a bent record. It's so bad that people try to beat me up every time I open my mouth. I actually got socked again right before you guys walked up. I guess some things never change. But like I said, I can write some really great songs and play a few instruments, plus nobody can beat my passion for music. At least that's what I thought until you showed up. You have a lot of the same passion to uproot your whole life for a music career. But that's exactly why I think that we'll work together. Or we'll work well together. So what do you say? I'm in. I can't wait to see what we can come up with together. Yes! <laughs> I'm happy for you. Hi. Thank you so much, Kiryu-san. Here, let me give you this. It's the least that I can do for you. A bowling ball. The Patriarch's bowling ball? Well, we're just gonna carry that for luck's sake. Mickey-chan and I can climb the charts. It might not be easy, but our passion will carry us through. Uh. Good luck, guys. I can, can't wait to see here the results. Can you sight read, Miki-chan? I got a song that we can try right now. Yeah, let's do it. And now he's not getting beat. Look at him slow off. Oh, those performers sound amazing. You got that right. Let's go take a listen. The street just cleared up. Those two will make a great team, and I'm sure that it'll be a nice change of pace from getting beat up all the time. Seems as good a time as any. Mom to mom to call it a night. I forgot. Let's get out of here. There's a button. Is it X? Is it F? It was F. Let's just sit first, first. But feels like as good a time as any to call it a night. So thank you everybody for hanging out. We 
we can get more stuff. Mm. More XP gain. Token of increasing the chances that drop encounters. Drop essence of lotus spear. Getting it! Collateral damage. Extreme throw. I'm just like, I don't really throw people very much. Oh wait, we can boost the heavy attack. I can just save save my money still. Okay. Anyway. Good night, everybody. Thank you for hanging out. Hope you had fun, and we will continue the story next time. Have a good week, and don't die. <laughs>